Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicola and I'm from South Wales in the UK. If you're new to my channel, thank you very much for coming to watch one of my videos. And if you've been here before, then thank you very much for coming back to watch another video. Um, I've just gone Iceland delivery. It's very early on Friday the 27th of January. I cannot believe that it's the 27th of January, literally gonna be February next week. I mean, like, Feels like two seconds ago, we were waking up on Christmas morning and <laughs> it's just flown by. Like, does anybody else feel like it's just going so fast? I mean, we have had quite a busy January, but everybody I spoke to, no matter what they've been doing, they just find that it's gone really, really fast. So, yeah, February next week. Crazy, crazy. Um, But I'll show you what I've got. Try and tell you the prices couple of good offers on uh, Iceland at the moment. Obviously, everything's going up. I've seen a lot of people saying how expensive Iceland, uh, not to me, but I've seen people saying on different things how expensive Iceland has gone. But I think it's, it's everywhere at the moment. I think one of the best places to shop at the moment, personally, I think is Tesco's. And we'll be trying to stick more with Tesco's, but um, it is good to shop around as well. So, I'll show you what i've had today now um first of all this is quite a good offer i haven't I don't think i've smelt this one before 24 wash surf and it's called sunset paradise with bursts of melon and peach and this was actually if you go onto the website it was actually on the half price kind of part so it was two pounds 75 it says limited edition but um yeah hopefully that will be lovely i'm sure it will i like all the surf ones usually so £2.75, really good for that. Um, 10 waffles. Um, I got <laughs> my daughter just set this up for me, so it's kind of all in a different way, but it's nice to have a bit of a change. So I've just left it like this. So yeah, thank you to my daughter for setting all this up. Um, <laughs> and then I've had some of these chicken breast steaks, the hot and spicy, eight of those in a bag. I think these are like four pounds each, but they're on the offer three for ten pounds. So um i had a bag of those was on that offer then a bag of the salt and pepper chicken strips then these were also on that offer 100 percent chicken breast fillet um and then the other thing i had on the offer was over there i'll show you that in a second and then the usual three bags of the hot and spicy strips they're also on the three for ten pound offer so got those got a bag of the crinkle cut chips for a pound um yeah, as I said before, they've gone a bit smaller, but they are a pound. And then I don't think we've tried these. Can't remember ever trying these. They've got a few of the Chiquito kind of different things. The Piri Piri Skin on Fries says they're mild. Um, and it wasn't bad. They're pound fifty, which, as chips are going these days, that's not a bad price for 900 grams. So looking at all the different options they had, wasn't too bad. So... I got those and I'll let you know what if everybody likes those and then this is the other thing I had with the three for ten pound with the salt and pepper chicken and the hot and spicy chicken breast steaks um the 66 chicken nuggets I wanted to get dippers but they were sold out on the website so I got the chicken nuggets instead and then quite a good offer I thought they had on the cereal they had you could get, there was lots of different choice. You could get five boxes of cereal for £10. So, obviously, works out to £2 a box. And there was lots of choice. And a lot of these, like, you know, cereal has gone really, really expensive. I know you can get the cheaper versions on some things. And some are really good. But some, like I have tried the cornflakes before. And they, on different places, they weren't so nice. So, I do tend to stick to Kellogg's. There's certain things in it that we like or we don't like. So I thought I would do this because in the long run, even though we're spending £10 today, in the long run, it's going to work out better. So I have a two of the massive boxes behind you of the um, Kellogg's cornflakes. They are the 720 gram. So they are on their own £2.50 each. So... Um, and that's on offer. Normally, they cost more than £2.50 if you go to uh, anywhere else. Or even on Iceland, when they're not on offer, they're more expensive than that. So, that's really good. Um, 
And then there's some of these Kellogg's Zimmy Choco Dragon Shells. And that is the 450 gram box. Um, obviously, all of these would be more than two pounds. Uh, some of the cookie crisps then, 450 grams for the Nestle cookie crisp. And then the Kellogg's Rice Krispies multi-grain shapes as well. And that is the 350 gram box. So all of those for £10, which will, you know, last, well, a little bit of a while. But I thought that was really good offer. So if that's on again, I probably would do that again another week. So it's well worth it. If, you know, your children like particular kind of ones that, like I said, some of these boxes now have gone up to like £3.50 or more, I think, on certain things, unless they're on offer, you know. So, yeah, thought that was really good. And I thought some of you might be interested in that. So I'll show you that. And then a big, massive tomato ketchup, which is the, that size, um, the biggest one I think you can usually get. That was four pounds. So that has gone up slightly. I think it used to be three fifty, and then three seventy five, and then the usual then twenty four waters for three pounds seventy five. Um, they have gone off, but you can get two packs of water for seven pounds. So works out three pound fifty. But um, yeah, I've just got the one, and then the Pepsi is twenty four Pepsi Max for nine pounds. So yeah, crazy price for that. So all together, um. I did order some of the chicken tikka, like, for sandwiches, but that was out of stock. So, I think once they refunded me that and the pound they charged for, like, packing, I think it came to £54 then. So, not too bad. As I said, I have got tons of things for meals, but these are just kind of in the freezer kind of things for when I'm not doing something else. Um, I still got quite a bit from uh, other bits that I've had uh, shopping. And I think I've actually missed... There was one... Load of shopping I had the other day and I didn't actually film it because I was getting a bit behind with videos. Like this video today now, you should be seeing this today. I'm filming it on the 27th, Friday morning. So you should be seeing it tonight. The very latest will be Saturday, the 28th, tomorrow night. So I just wanted to kind of get back to, you know, I like to be kind of like where we are with days and dates and stuff. I don't want to be like weeks behind. So, so yeah, but... um. So I've still got lots of things that I had from shopping the other day from Tesco's. I think it was I had that I didn't film that. So, yeah, I hope you're all OK. Um, oh, I did say that, you know, as well about our little trip to Birmingham to Strictly Come Dancing live, the tour. It was amazing. I'm, I've got a little clip that I put on, that I put on, that I might put on, that I filmed. Um, It was really awkward because I don't think it's supposed to really film, but I've seen lots of been lots of people filming, but I kind of like, you know, done it very carefully where nobody could see me filming. My brightness was on very, very low. Uh, I didn't want to annoy it for anybody sat, you know, sitting behind me. So I literally just filmed one little part of it. So I might put that on YouTube um, if anybody's interested in that. It might just be, it's only like less than two minutes long. But uh, oh, I was, we had such a lovely time, a lovely hotel. Um, we got to see... A lot of the celebrities, um, again, were staying in the same hotel that we were in. And we got to, like, we go into the lift and we got to talk to Hamza. And uh, that was quite funny because he had a he had a big, a big white towel from the hotel room on his head. And he said it was hair wash day. And, but he was lovely. He was so, he made a little tiny mistake um, where he was trying to lift um, Joita in the show. And then... He, he apologized to us then and we were like no no you were you were brilliant but I mean he just seems such a lovely lovely person and we got to see Helen Helen Skelton and yeah Craig and yeah it was really really nice so I would definitely recommend if you haven't if you do like Strictly Come Dancing and you haven't gone to see the show yet um and you can get to go to see a show near you then um I would definitely say to go get your tickets and go if you can. But yeah, but I hope you're all okay. Um, it's Friday year now, so not not a lot planned now. Things have calmed down a bit now. Not a lot planned now for the weekend or anything. But I think we might be going to go to the cinema tonight to watch. There's a new Gerald Butler film called Plane. 
coming out today, so I think we might go and watch that. But other than that, not going to do a lot on the weekend. Trying to sort out our boiler. Oh, I'm just going to do some dishes now and I'm going to have to boil a kettle about 25 times uh, because the boiler hasn't been right for a while since before Christmas. But it's um, we've got to order this part now, I think. And we've had the gas man obviously to come and do it and then he'll be coming to fix this part. But oh, you don't realise, do you, until you haven't got any hot water and the radiators and, you know, the shower and all that kind of thing, how, like, annoying it is. <laughs> so, yeah, plus there's also many that uh, don't want to be spending at the moment. So, yeah, but it'll get done. Once it's done, then it's done, isn't it? So... Yeah, that's our plans anyway. So what are you up to on the weekend? Hope you're going to have a nice weekend, whatever you're doing. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.